Rangers as well. After getting rid of its football team, the Dallas College turned its football field into a farm. That was in 2010. Now the harvest is helping the community get healthy and eat well. Our Robbie Owens live tonight at the Paul Quinn Farmers Market. Well, Kaylee, it is hard to believe that anything is still growing in this Texas heat. But take a look. Some of these vegetables here were picked just this morning. Other local farmers are here as well. It's Paul Quinn's latest effort to bring a little rain to a food desert. We have arugula and we have cucumbers. We have different varieties of tomatoes. Darcia Houston is a city girl turned Paul Quinn farmhand. Welcome to my office. Come on in. This is mustard shoots right here. Having experienced firsthand the day-to-day -day struggles of life in a food desert. Was not available. You could not walk to it. And to get on a bus to go get it, you're looking at hour and 45 minutes, two hours. At least she had a car. Elderlies would tell me, um, can I give you a few dollars to get me some lettuce? Can I give you a few dollars for some potatoes? Now the Paul Quinn grad is helping to grow vegetables on what was once the college's football field. Did you need a bag? And even better, to see those veggies plant the seeds of healthy living at a weekly farmer's market. It's a big deal because it's fresh. You can see right here where it's coming from. Michael Ware is a frequent shopper and also volunteers at the farm. When you don't have that access, you're just going to go for what's there, meaning you're going to go for what's easiest. And that may not always be what's healthiest. Which one looks good to you? When they open that market, you talk about excited, so I start spreading the word. Is it a good thing for this community? It's a great thing. I feel empowered, and I feel like I'm empowering. I just harvested this for you this morning, and I just pulled it out the ground, like, not even two hours ago. That's powerful to me. <laughs> Let them know, boo. Well, the community has a lot more to crow about now. The community has a new grocery store nearby, and supporters say that makes the situation better, but there's always room for more. This market here will be open until 7 this evening. Live on the compass of Paul Quinn College, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. What a great way to embrace that community, too, Robbie. Thank you.